Hey everyone, welcome to Venba. Should be a super chill cooking game. A little short experience, about an hour to two hours. Um, just looks like a really nice style, really nice wholesome chill game. Um, I'm very excited to check it out. Think well before you dare and never ruminate once in action. 1988, my birth year. <laughs> Hello. So it's 1988. Oh no, Dad. Wait. Dad, no one can see you. Hold on. I'll fix it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Leaving already? Ayo, sorry. Or is it her name? Ayo? <laughs> Ayo, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? <laughs> what time is it? Eight. How are you feeling? Tired or nauseous? Ooh. She looks tired. Just like yesterday. Ah. Uh. Okay, I'll call your school and say you can't come in today. I was just to leave for work. You should go back to sleep. What about your lunch? There's some leftover idli batter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna butcher all the words. Garlic chutney from yesterday. You can steam some idlis quickly. I don't know if I can figure all that out. It's okay. I was just about to leave. It's just idlis. It's very easy. It'll take me too long, Venba. Don't worry. Ah, oh, so Venba is our name. I can just survive on the coffee machine. No, you should eat. Are we gonna make it? Ah, uh, I... I know she should rest, but if it were me and... He would head out without any food, I would feel so bad that even if I wasn't up for it, I would still make it. Wait five minutes. Really, it's fine. No, no, no. I need to make lunch for myself anyway. Just tell the school I'll be done in a minute. Okay. Sorry, Venba. Can't just can't let him leave. Without making some food. Okay, let's get this done fast. Although... Oh, that's an old book. Should I try my mother's recipe? Ooh, your mom left you a recipe book. The way I make idlis are never as soft as hers. Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Idlis. Idli? Idli. Oh, so it is idli. Idlis? And they would always cheer me up when I'm feeling sick. I should just make them her way today. Hmm. The recipe is still readable, that is. Let's do it! Time to cook idlis. Whoa, okay. <laughs> oh, okay, instructions, here we go. The idli plate, towel, cooker is what we need. We need water and batter. Holes to let the steam through. That's what those are. They also have holes so batter can cook. Make sure to hmm or it will leak. The only difference from mine seems to be the holes on the plates. The recipe also calls for towels. I'm not sure why. But Ama swears this method makes the at least a lot softer. Okay, arrange plates so steam can cook batter properly. Water batter towel what is this one ah that's the top plate okay no point putting a plate without batter okay so batter on this then the plate oh do the holes not go yeah the holes don't should not be on top of each other so we can let's put it there and then do another batter round. So now they're they're good. Make sure 
Maybe a towel on top? Oh, so they don't leak on top of each other. Oh no, uh... <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> okay, so... One of these... Then one of... Okay. Do you think I should put in a towel first? No, okay. Just checking. You never know. This is why I don't cook. <laughs> I can cook, but I hate it. <laughs> it makes me so stressed that I'm doing something wrong. Okay, so now they're... Okay. So should we just put this on then? Steam cooked. It needs water. Let's see how it turns out. That should be long enough. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. The batter leaked through the plate holes and split everywhere. Let's try again. Oh no! I didn't do it right! So how do we... Oh... Ah... That's how you do it. Okay. So you just get a redo. That's nice. You can kind of like figure out how to do it. How's this? Second try. Let's remove the lid and see how it turned out. Only the bottom plate cooked. Maybe the seam from the water didn't reach the upper plates. There must be an orientation. Let's see if this is correct. Looks good. I wonder what it looks like actually, IRL, Iblis. How did it turn out? <gasps> I did it! Third time's a charm, eh? Do they smell good? Oh wow, you even took the time to make our faces. I think you forgot about my beard though. <laughs> you really didn't have to do this. What else could I do? My husband can't figure out Idlis. Venba, I told you to go to sleep. You've been feeling sick and exhausted. You didn't have to cook. It's not a big deal if I skip lunch once. Pavalan. You're making me choose between resting and letting you starve. That's not a fair choice to me. You're not letting me starve. I know, but that's what it feels like. And even if I let you leave... I couldn't sleep peacefully. I'd feel too guilty. I know I shouldn't, but you know I would. Is it so hard for you to cook, even on days like this? You're right, sorry. Did you look for tickets back home? Yes, it's expensive, but we can manage it. Do you think we should go? I don't know. Let me ask the boss again if he can make me full time. But unless the school gives you more shifts, or my boss changes his mind, it's gonna be tough to stay in Canada. You know there are other options, but I wouldn't mind going back. I'm sure I can teach again at my old job. There's nothing really keeping us here. That would be nice. Okay, well, why don't you leave with me now? I'll walk you to the doctor's office before I go to work. Oh no, is she really sick? I'm sure all I need is some sleep. No, you should see a doctor. It's gonna be too late. You've been saying that for two days now. Come on, I'll walk you. Ah, oh, my nose is itchy. Doctors are free here. How are you feeling? Oh! <gasps> Pregnant! Cute. Ah, she's making it again. She's like, I'm an Idlis pro now. Idlis. Indian food. What did the doctor say? So the boss didn't even consider it. Unless a miracle happens, I say we start packing. What's with you? You never told me what the doctor said. Well, I think you should eat first. Okay. At least again. Ah! 
What has gotten into you today? Look at them. <laughs> Tiny baboo! That's so cute! Hee hee hee. So I guess this means we have a reason to stay. I mean, raising a child back home wouldn't be so bad either, but there's a chance at a very different life here. It's only going to get more expensive though, and we're barely scraping by as it is. We can't provide everything other parents would be able to. What if they resent us for that when they grow up? Maybe moving back to India is the best option after all. But then they could resent us for taking away this opportunity. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, Venba? Why aren't you saying anything? She's so cute. I don't know. It's funny to see you worry like this. <laughs> Are you not worried? I don't know. I feel very calm for some reason. That makes one of us. Pavlan, don't worry. I'm sure they will turn out just fine. How can you be so sure? It's our child. How else could they turn out? Hmm, <laughs> that's so sweet. Ah, this is what it looks like. It's so cute and pretty. Looks tasty. Ah, yay! Okay, now we're in 1994, so the kid is like six-ish. The name is Pavilon, sir. Pavilon, sir. Cavin. Where did you run off to? Sir, it will be my privilege to work with you. Pardon me, sir? Don't have time to play, Kevin. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> yes, sir. I've managed transport of hundreds of units of inventory per day. Pardon me, sir? Kevin, there you are. What are you wearing? Where's your shirt? It's a cape. <laughs> Take that off. Let's get you dressed. No, I like it. That job was in India, sir, but... Kevin, wait there. Don't run. The mask on the wall is moving. Oh, you can't see. Oh, sorry. My camera is very unfortunate. Kevin, come back here. This has become a routine now. <laughs> yes, sir. Bachelor of Science in Physics, sir. Ayo, that towel is so dirty, da. Wear this skirt, Kanna. No! <laughs> but sir, you can just take me on probation period, maybe? I'm driven, self-started, and a quick learner, sir. But this on, Kanna. Hurry up now. But I don't wanna. Speak in Tamil, Kevin. I can't even understand what you're saying. You don't have to pay until then. Please, Kanna? I understand, sir. Good boy. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for considering me. Good day. That's so rough. Hello, Mr. Bachelor of Science. What happened? Same old. Uh, they didn't buy your story? That's not entirely untrue. I helped out in a grocery store when I was 12. And you were paid in candy. Ah, well, I've only worked as a writer back home. Let's try this. I don't see myself getting a job for that here. Not with my English. I spent half these calls asking them to repeat themselves. I should watch cartoons with Kevin. If I can understand those shows, maybe I can understand these people too. Yay! We can watch Batman together, Appa. <laughs> yes, but your son is going to forget Tamil at this rate. Did you know his friends call him Kevin? What's wrong with that? Speak in Tamil. What's wrong with that? It's only one letter that's different anyway. Names tell stories. That's why we picked it. Names tell stories. It's a way for people to learn about you and where you're from. You shouldn't be afraid to correct your friends. It's your name, after all. Who else is going to tell them? 
<laughs> Kevin means beautiful. It's such a lovely name and it suits you so well. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. As someone who lives in a different country, I also go by Evelyn rather than Evelyn. And it's only a slight difference. It's only two letters replaced with one letter. But it saves you a big hassle because every time I would say Evelyn, people would be like, excuse me, what? What's your name? And that whole interaction, I'm always like, please just don't. Just call me Evelyn. It's so much easier. I like the sound of Evelyn. It's so close to Evelyn anyway. Like, I don't... For me, it doesn't matter at all. Um, so I'm kind of siding with Kevin here <laughs> on that point. I don't want to be beautiful. I just want to be Kevin. He's brighter than us, Venba. He's learned to adapt. We haven't. You know, he aced yesterday's English quiz. He did? Really? Good job. We should celebrate. What do you want to eat? I'll make something special. Oh, can we order pizza? Speak in Tamil. I want pizza. How about we make something at home? Like parotta. Dosa? Idayatha? Ki dosa? Biryani? Kari dosa? I know I'm not pronouncing this properly at all. Uh, I'm just trying. Now I'm tired of all of these. I said I want pizza. Extra cheese. Extra toppings. You eat pizza all the time, Kevin. Have you ever had puttu? No. What's that? I've only seen my mother make it before. It's a lot of fun to make. Reminds me of a rocket. Rocket? A lot of steam comes out when you make it. It looks just like a rocket launching. It does? Yeah. But you know what? Let's just order pizza. There's no rocket, but you get a nice cardboard box. <laughs> Will it really look like a rocket launch? Do you want to see? What a good mom. Yeah, I can totally imagine. There's so much culture and so much good food. Um, the Netherlands doesn't really have that. There's some Dutch foods, but like, I honestly just grew up with like Italian food, Mexican food, Chinese food, the Dutch version of it, kind of like a Dutch bastardization of it but like Dutch food doesn't really go beyond like pea soup and meatballs I think we have like stuff that we eat for like New Year's we make like olibola which is like deep fried dough balls basically but yeah it's nothing like those things I kind of miss but like we don't have a whole plethora of meals you know that are so like succinctly Dutch I haven't made this before, but Ama has a recipe on it. Hopefully it's readable. Where's the rocket? We need to make the flour first, though. Oh, it's time to cook! Five hundred grams of rice, water, blend, separate fine rice from chunks, something. Combine five hundred grams of fine rice with water. So we separate the chunks. Let's make some flour. When do we get to the rocket part? Soon, be patient. Okay, so that's soaked rice, a sieve, and water. Mix. Okay. Adding flour to the rice is the final step. Do you think this is right? It's a bit chunky, isn't it? Putu flour should feel like slightly wet sand. I think we need to use the sieve. Let's try again. It's blended. F oh, blend the rice without water, maybe? And then... Over the towel to catch everything. Hee hee hee, there we go! Now we have chunks. Then that goes with the water. 
flour to the rice is the final step. Oh, I did it wrong. Way too runny. We must have added less than 500 grams of rice. We need to find a way to use all of it. Oh, do we re-blend the chunks? I think I got it! Should we blend it again until it's all really fine? Wow. That's how they do it? Perfect! Why does this feel like flour even though there was so much water? We have to mix the water and flour little by little. The final consistency should feel like slightly wet sand. All right, that wasn't too hard. Um, uh, when will we get to the rocket? Okay. This is the rocket. Coconut layers as far away from each other as possible. Okay. So it's two layers of flour for each layer of coconut. Four tablespoons, three for these layers. And water at the bottom. Okay. Water steams and cooks what's above. Tricky part is figuring out how much rice and coconut is needing. And in what order. Coconut can crumble easily. Water goes in the bottom part. Is this the kettle? So do we put that on? Okay. So the lid goes on last. So I'm guessing it's three tablespoons of coconut. One. Two. Oh! That just did not work the way I thought it would. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so coconut, flour, flour, coconut. Coconut, flour, flour, coconut, flour, flour, coconut. Lunch time! <laughs> That's fun. Complete one recipe without messing up. Hey! <laughs> I launched Putu. That was so cool! Fembi, I can't believe it didn't fall. Amma, can we do that again? <laughs> That's so cute. So it's Coconut and flour? Ooh, with like a little curry or something? Oh. We're unable to offer you our secondary teaching position at this time. Oh, they can't get work. Is he asleep? I think so. Gavin? Yes, he is. Good. So that interview. Another dead end? Yeah. I think I knew that before I took the call. No relevant Canadian work experience will keep you on file. I mean, oh god, it's so awful having to... I remember coming out of college and like trying to find a job and every, literally every job I found was like, you need work experience. It was like, yeah, but I'm just out of college. Like, how, I can't get work experience without working. Like, I need to start somewhere. But after like, I would say 20, 30 applications, I finally found a job. Don't know. I feel like I deluded us into thinking we can make it work here. Well, don't worry. I'll go to the employment office again tomorrow. What? I know you don't like Shures. Shuresh? Suresh? But I think you should take that sales job at his company. It's all about who you know here. We barely know anyone. We're not in a position to pick and choose our help. I thought moving here would be a chance to start over, but even here we still have to beg people like Suresh. It's not begging, I know. I'll call him tomorrow. Thank you. But honestly, I think you're more qualified for sales than I am. I mean, the, the way you sold Kevin on the Putu yesterday. 
or today. You're really good with kids. I can't believe you're having a hard time teaching in school. Well, it's not like teaching back home. It makes me worry about Kevin. Why? Well, back home, I could get the class to laugh, open up, get them in the mood to learn, you know? But it's harder here. What does that have to do with Kevin? I just feel that there's a wall between me and my class. I can't connect with them. They lead very different lives than we did. And I feel that same wall growing around Kevin. Well, how do you mean? What if I can't connect with him? It's so hard to talk to him. I just feel like he's growing further away from us. It's probably what the parents would feel like, yeah. The other day he told me he wished he had his own room, like his friends. He said he needs his privacy. What five-year-old needs privacy? Can you even imagine asking for something like that when you were a kid? It's like he's a different, in a different world than us. I remember as well, I, um, I knew a Dutch lady who married a Japanese guy living in Japan. Um, her Japanese was flawless. Like she obviously lived in Japan f for over like 20 years. They were buried and they had a kid together and it was the same thing. The kid was half Dutch, half Japanese, but grew up in Japanese and he refused to speak Dutch because he just, it made him embarrassed to speak a different language in front of his classmates. So he just really rejected his Dutch culture from his mother. And she tried to like speak Dutch with him and he could understand it, but he just refused to speak Dutch back. So that is a little sad to see. Well, it's more than just that. He doesn't eat lunch at school. He's not interested in anything we do. Uh, he is five, though. Like, he's still very young. He brings it back every day with some excuse. I don't know if the other kids make fun of him for it. Or if he's embarrassed. I don't know. I'm worried. These things bother me too, but we choose to bring him up here. Not him. We did it because we thought he'd have a better life here. And he does. This place comes with better education and opportunities, but it also comes with its own culture, language, and values. We can't pick and choose the ones we want and ask him to ignore from the others. I think it's natural that ki any kid wants to fit in, right? Yeah, maybe. It's just scary. Don't worry, Venba. He'll turn out just fine. How are you so sure? He's our child. How else will he turn out? I feel like as a kid, you don't really, I didn't really show any interest in like what my parents did or like heritage or Dutch history or culture until I was maybe closer to an adult. I feel like as a kid, you're just too insecure and you want to fit in. So yeah, I feel like maybe the kid, the parents are asking a little too much of their kid. Those fallen from their resolve are stripped of respect, like hair fallen from the head. Go on, tell her. His name is Pavalan, he's my dad. P-A-A-V-A-L-A-N. She says Appa is not at the office. Does she know what time he left? Do you know when my dad left the office? No. Does she at least know if he came in today? Did you see him today? Yeah. Ask her if he usually leaves with anybody. Maybe we can call them. Does he usually go home with someone? She says no. Dad usually leaves alone and he's very quiet. She says all the sales staff left at 5 p.m. today. He must have left then too. He hasn't come home? Uh oh. What happened? Why are we walking through the park, Amma? Do you think Appa will be here? I don't know, Kanna. Is Kanna like sun or something? Oh, if he decides to walk home from the office, it should be through here. But the lady said he left at five. What's taking him so long? Do you think he went somewhere else first? But where would he go for this long? 
I don't know, Kevin. Enough with your questions. Sorry, I'm just worried. Why are you worried? Do you think something happened to him? No, I'm sure he's fine. You don't have to stay quiet. Here, you can ask me anything you want. Anything? Yes, and I'll answer it. But only if you can ask it in Tamil. Okay? Okay, I can do that. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I can do that. Why did that lady say that Appa is very quiet? He talks a lot at home. Oh, look at you go. You can speak to Mil when you want to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's that they don't talk to him. What do you mean? Ah, oh, nothing. He doesn't really like his job, Kevin. Maybe that's why. He was a writer back home, right? Did he like his job back then? Oh, yes, he loved to write. How come I never see him write at home? Well, he always writes when something bothers him. Back home, that used to be every day. Maybe you should, you should bug him more. <laughs> so how did you and Appa meet? What did you do back home? How'd you meet? I don't know. Hmm. You know I named, I'm named, i named after a type of poem, right? Appa told me a Vemba is, a, is kind of like a haiku. The private school where I was teaching was treating both staff and students terribly. No proper equipment or rooms and horrible pay, so we organized a protest. We had signs and boards and dozens of people. One day we were told a reporter wanted to interview us. We thought this was a big break. But he was the shabbiest person I'd ever seen. He looked like he had just woken up. Was it Appa? Yeah! Still, I answered all his questions and hoped for the best. A week later, we all read the article that came out in the magazine. But it wasn't an article. It was a poem? It was a Venba. A gorgeous one, too. It was about the school, the students, our protest, and it was about me. Somehow people could ignore our protest, but they couldn't ignore the poem. It received a lot of attention, and as a result, so did our protest. The school was forced to change, and I was smitten. God, that's an amazing story. That's so sweet. Why'd you move here? It wasn't an easy choice. Pavelan wanted, me to, wanted to be with me, and I couldn't imagine being with anyone else. But a lot of people took issue with us being together, and they decided to make it our problem. It was getting really hard to deal with it, so we gambled on a fresh start here and took him. Oh. Hmm. <gasps> I see Appa! What happened? Oh no. Mm -mm. What happened? Oh no. Did he get attacked? Smoking. Someone throw something at him. Ah, oh, is he is he writing? Complete the park level. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. 2006. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, she's getting older! Oh, still the same glasses? No way. I just finished cutting up the onions, too. I think you should ha have everything you need. Yes, thanks, Pa. I'll go help Kevin pack. Oh, leaving for college? 
What are we making? Whoa. Ah, beautiful colors. Gravy. Uh, this recipe is completely unreadable! Layered biryani is really fancy. I've never made it that way before, but I've seen Amma make it the night before we left India. Maybe I can try remembering them. Oh god! Ah! Uh, I don't even know! Oh god! Oh, there's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients in. You want all of them to fry in the oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the one you add next. Okay. So if I want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. Okay. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. Okay, so onions first. Then the chilies. Cardamom? They said four things though. I don't remember doing it this way. I must have done something wrong. Okay, well, which four? Oh, it's this thing. Okay, okay. So I did the right order, but I need to do something else first. The beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. The order is important. Add water and let it reduce. Okay. Add all these first. Oh, okay. So the leaves, the those things, whatever that is. It's a big thing, so leave it leave to another country. I don't know when I'll be able to cook for you again. Oh, Okay. So these things, these things, these and these. I don't know if the order matters. Okay, 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 okay. You would lose your mind over these prices. Okay, I'm still in it. Maybe now we do the onions? So, onion, chili, garlic, tomatoes, alas. Okay. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Amma. I'm sorry, I couldn't take better care of it. And I'm fixing these now, and I, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. If he ever does. Okay, this is looking good. Now we just have all of these complicated things left. What was it again about the beef? Beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. Okay. Then the water. Okay. So, chili, turmeric, and masala. I think they just go in. Uh, salt. And then the beef. And then we add the water and let it reduce, right? Simmer for 30 minutes and we can start layering. Oh, that was a hard one. Gravy is done. All that's left is the biryani. Oh, that looks amazing. Now we need to layer it. Let's sit in low flame for 30 minutes. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Okay. Put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. One, two, three might refer to different layers of gravy, rice, and other things. But in what order? We just add all of these together on top of the rice layer. And then that's the final layer? Yes. What's wrong? Why are you crying? Oh, we'll visit often, and once things are better, we'll come back here. This is our home. Where else will we go? I know, Kanna. It's just so far away. Oh. Okay, so we have fried onions, milk, mint, cilantro, G, cashews. Well, I think maybe one is the rice layer? Oh, uh, one will be the rice layer. Two, one, two, three. 
What goes together? I have no idea. I'm just throwing everything in. <laughs> yeah, this is not right at all. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, so it is rice first. Gravy in the bowl back into the pot. Wow. Is that really how they do it? Order does not matter. Okay. Uh, let's do this and that and these and these and these and a bit of these. Just have to cover it with the lid. Yeah, I would not have... No, I totally didn't see that bowl. Just need to keep the flame very hot and let it all cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. Oh, I can't wait. That would be so tasty. Oh my god. Should be good now. Oh, amazing. Tiriani. Oh, smells good, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, so tasty. Oh my god. Look how cute. How is it? So good. Beef really is the best. Do they eat it with their hands? Oh, it's really good, Amma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, oh, Amma. Stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Kana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. We might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh. This way you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Ah, oh, I was looking forward to the drive. I want to see the university. So it would be nice to see all the classrooms and buildings. You can give us a tour. It's not a hassle at all for us to drive you. We'd love to. It's just more convenient. There's nothing to tour, really. Just a bunch of gray buildings. Okay, Kana. Sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? <laughs> you didn't! <laughs> Maybe we can drive there next week. Drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more of the biryani. I also packed some podies, pickles, and sweets. Did you give all the pieces to Kevin? <laughs> Amma, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed f for your friends, too. You can all eat. Oh, that would be amazing. They don't want biryani. And the whole car will smell. Don't want them in my dorm, either. Oh, you don't want any of it? Put a lot of effort into making all of this this week. I didn't ask you to. Why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask, but what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. <laughs> Just eating Kuska here. <laughs> That's not healthy, Kevin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing that. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. Why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. It's a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. Damn, I just want to be normal for once. That's harsh. Kama. The language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Kevin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But you just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else either. Oh, that's a, that's good advice, Dad. I like that. There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's a part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. Then why did we even move here? We should have just stayed in India. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? Okay. And I'll call every week too, so please try not to worry. Okay? Okay. Mm, yeah, very understandable. From either perspective. Like, I get the parents and I get the kid as well. Is that them? I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. 
Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the old block. <laughs> there he goes. I suppose it's good that he's so independent. Makes his own choices. Even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chose, chooses, at least it'll be his own decision. I mean, you guys moved to a different country because people didn't really approve of your relationship. So I'm sure your parents saw your decisions as incorrect as well. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. Oh. We encourage you to apply again next year. Oh, she keeps applying and not getting it. Oh, it's so sad. Did Kevin reach the university? Did he text or call yet? No. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yeah. Maybe he hasn't got... Oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak in Tamil. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him sometime next week. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course not, Pavelan. We should help if we can. He uses the headphone all the time. It'll be hard for him without it. What? Oh, you made that up. <laughs> is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the work that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote, too. All the stories you read, read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot. Yes, but I doubt he even remembers that. I don't even know if he can read to me literature, much less understand it. I used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer. But after that night in the park, maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kevin to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe you should have stayed. If you're gonna suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, my anger is going to be anything but fleeting. <laughs> but come on. I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where you two are. Hmm. That is sweet. Longing for those who have forsaken you diminishes the beauty of the soul. Ooh. That's intense. <gasps> no! Oh, no. She's all alone now? And the sun isn't around? Mm. Hmm, is it a text? What is it? Is he gonna visit? Oh, she gonna cook! Rotate! Hee hee! Again! Oh, I'm doing it, but yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Almost ready. Yeah. Oh, that must be so tasty. What is it? What are we making? Mm. 
That looks so nice. Is it like doughy or egg? I wonder. Am I doing it right? I have no idea. Mm. Ooh, that'll be tasty. We have something similar like this in the Netherlands that you make like pulfertjes, which are like mini pancakes, like pancake bites. Very nice. Okay. Hehe. <laughs> Turn over the ones that are done. It reminds me of um oh, why can't I even think of it? Is it Dongoyaki? No. The squid balls. What is it again? Oh god. Takoyaki? I think it's takoyaki. Ooh. Gee. Ah. Yeah, takoyaki. I'm not a huge fan of squid, but I, whenever we and friends would make takoyaki ourselves at home, I would just instead of like squid, put like a little piece of sausage in or something or cheese. Oh, so tasty. Wow, the whole fish like that? That will be tasty. Do you want to flip it? Oh, this game's making me so hungry. Perfect. It looks spicy though. I, uh, I could never eat Korean food because it's so spicy it gives me stomach ache. Even the non-spicy stuff. Makes me sad. I can eat Korean food in Japan though. Because Japanese people hate spicy food too, or they're not good with spicy food. Hate is a strong word. Um, so when you order Korean food in Japan, they have very, very mild versions. So. Recommend you try it out. Oh! Oh! Looks so good! Oh yeah, I want it. I, um... Ooh, what was that? I also had a friend for a while in when I lived in the Netherlands who was from Afghanistan. And, um... Whenever I would come to her place, the mom always had... Afghan food ready. It was so good. So tasty and it was so completely new to me. I absolutely loved it. She was always so nice, that mom. She was always like, are you eating enough? Do you want to take some food home with you? I was just like, what is this kindness from a stranger? Ugh. Very tasty rice. Rice dishes with chicken. Oh, so good. Man, she's preparing a feast. He better not cancel. Oh, I'm gonna be mad. Do you think he's gonna... I'm th I think he's gonna bring a girlfriend home. I think he's gonna bring home a girlfriend. At least I hope so. So tasty. I'm sure she honed her skills. 
Oh my god. What a feast. I did that. <laughs> Make the dinner spread. Wow, she has it all perfectly ready on time. She probably spent all afternoon making that. No, don't tell me. He never showed up. She fell asleep. Is the phone gonna... Yeah. Oh no. I think I can stop by for a bit. Something came up last minute. I can't make it tonight. Oh, now you tell her? I knew he was gonna cancel because she was making she was putting so much effort into it. Man. Look at that beautiful meal. That's sad. Hopefully she can put it all in Tupperware and eat it throughout the week so it doesn't go to waste. That's what I would do. Poor mom. Oh no, you're so alone. Don't show me that. He should be more considerate though. If my mom was all alone, I would try and visit more. <gasps> she got a job! What? She did it! She's gonna put herself out there. Without one's dignity, one becomes a puppet? Oh, he got a bachelor. Hee <laughs> hee, and a little beard. Yo, that's hype. The exact vibe I was looking for. Great, but just so you know, that's not usually hung inside the house. What is it? My dad just liked to hang it inside. That's fine, I just need something unique and interesting. By the way, for the school lunch scene... I was thinking it'd be cool if I, it was like a super diverse table of kids and they all shared food from their different cultures. What do you think Priya's lunch should be? Chicken tikka? Spicy vindaloo, maybe? Priya's Tamil, so probably none of those. Oh. What if we show her eating nothing? Like, I would bring back my lunch a lot. I was too embarrassed to eat it at school. Maybe we can touch upon that. I think Chris will find that too negative. Hmm. I've dealt with enough showbiz talks to know that that wouldn't go down. It's just a fun scene that celebrates different cultures and cuisines that really represent Toronto. You must have a favorite dish your mom made or something, right? It just feels weird for me to write a scene where she isn't even a bit apprehensive about the lunch. I was terrified to even open the lid. I get we're celebrating it, but a scene like this would make me feel like... Oh, I didn't read it. Yeah, I'll check my mother's recipe book. Yeah. Is your mom still around? If I have to give them a recipe, the least I can do is ensure it's authentic. You have the book. Does that mean your mom isn't around anymore? I can't believe Amma didn't take the recipe book with her when she left to India, though. She went home to India to teach? I didn't realize. It looks like she's fixed a lot of these recipes. I can't read Tamil very well, but let's see. Oh, wow. It's such a beautiful, like, language, how it's written. 
I really like it. Idlis. Putu? Oh yeah, I want to see Putu. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't looked up Putu. Oh, wow. There it is. Putu. That was fun. Biryani, of course. Okay, let me see. That, I, I think I know what it looks like. I think I've had that. Delicious. Natu Kozi Kulambu. That's like chicken soup, I think. She made this for me one time when I was really ill. This is the only thing I could eat without throwing up. I must have been around five then. I still remember the taste, the smell, and the day she made it. There was a phone call from India. The cooker was whistling. Ama fed it to me, but I think she was upset about something. <gasps> Did her mom die that day? If I'm going to feature this recipe in the show, I better cook it once at least. How helpful! She's drawn cute pictures of the ingredients needed. I'll go pick those up first and then I can start putting it together. At least he's now getting into it. See, that's what I said. It always like takes a little bit. They have to get a little older, become more comfortable in their environment, and then want to experience their culture. Okay, I can't read any of this. <laughs> Water and that. Okay. Can't really read this, but thankfully there's a diagram. Looks like I have to mix the tamarind with the water to extract its essence multiple times. Mix. The water really changed color. I should add more water directly to this bowl, but that might dilute the extracted water. I need to find a way to separate the extracted water and the tamarind. Okay. And then we keep doing that? I don't know how many times I need to do it. Do I also... No, I don't add more. Okay. Then I'll just keep doing it. Uh... I think I've gotten everything I got can from the tamarind. Let me add it to the other bowl and see. Do I still need to do this? That's as much as, I, as I'm going to get, I think. I hope this means the tamarind water is ready. On to the next! <laughs> it's so much messier. <laughs> this is more my kind of speed. Okay! Sure. No diagrams in this one. My Tamil isn't the most fluent, so I might not be able to translate this fully, but maybe I can do it step by step. I think I can make out a few of these words. Toast both of the grains first. The missing parts. We go step by step. I don't really see any grains. Did I mistranslate? Shallots, cumin. It might be garlic and ginger, because that's... Oh, no, wait. You toast seeds and stuff. Cool. Seeds, yeah. Can't count the number of times I've woken up to this sound. How is this already smelling so good? I know! It's so nice smelling. Next, add red leaves and green chilies. Okay. Red and green were switched around. I thought that was it, yeah. On to the next step. Minced crushed ginger. Okay, must be this. There's more? Must be this then, right? Smells so good! It's usually around this time Ama has me waving away all the steam from the smoke detector. <laughs> First add that creates water, then add water itself. The tomatoes. Crying it seems to release a lot of water. Then add water itself. So that's what the tamarind water is for. No idea what this says, but only two ingredients left, so... 
add salt and powder to taste. Smell is really taking me back. Amma was upset because of the phone call she got from home. Oh. Did you make it properly? I think I remember now. And she couldn't leave because you were sick? I'm sorry, Eppa. I'm sorry I'm not there. I thought she was getting better. It's almost the end of the month, so I should be able to send you more money soon. No, it's okay. Let me at least be of use this way. What are you making next? Can't read this part either, but there's not much to this. Just put everything in and cook it, I guess. If only it were that easy. Bone in chicken, salt, turmeric, and water. Oh, this thing. I like how he is so different from his mom. Like, he just throws stuff down when he's done with it. The mom put everything, like, really tidy. What do I do? Now oh, he remembers more. I should keep going. That looks fantastic! Chicken stock always has a golden color, but the turmeric is making it look extra nice. Should we even feature this in the show? Some corporation is going to start selling an overpriced turmeric chicken stock after watching this. Okay, last step. We just have to mix these together, I suppose. Dasam is usually water, but here it's fresh chicken stock instead. That's really cool, wow! I wonder how Chris will describe this to the team. An exotic take on chicken soup made from a variety of spices and aromatics. Gross. <laughs> Coriander... Do we just add it? And then some coriander? That looks great. A lot easier than I thought. Let's see if it tastes anything like that day. How is it? Oh! <laughs> so sick. Mama, why are you sad? It's nothing. Why didn't she tell him? Did I do something wrong? Oh no, Kana, not at all. I just... I heard from home. Your grandmother. Ama loves her a lot. But sometimes people have to leave and go far away, and Ama will just miss her. Why is she leaving? It's natural, Kevin. Everyone leaves someday. Us too? It'll happen to everyone. I won't leave you, Amma. Or Appa. No. Time to go to India! <laughs> Any recipe updates? <gasps> you gonna call your mom? Amma and Appa. You still have Appa in your phone context? That's sad. Do it. You better click that. A humble porridge can taste sweeter than nectar when fed by the little hands of one's child. Oh. Oh, you're wearing your dad's glasses? No! 
So he went to visit his mom to, so that she could teach him to cook. I told you I'm terrible at this. It's easy. Listen, it's all about temperature control. Pour water on the stone to reduce the heat. Next, set the fire to the low setting. Pour the batter and sin since the stone isn't hot, you can spread it easily. Add oil around the edges and turn up the heat. This will fry the batter and make it easy to flip once the edges are brown. Then it's done. Easy for you, another disaster coming up. Okay, water, lower, batter. Rotate. Add oil around the edges, and then when it's brown, you flip it. I don't see it turning brown yet. Oh, well, let's try it. No! It was too early! What did I do wrong? You got the first part right, but before you flip, it's crucial to add oil and turn the stove up to high. Oh, okay. I didn't catch that. I almost did it. At least she gives really good instructions. <laughs> and then we put oil around the edges. And then we turn up the heat. And then we flip it. Oh, beautiful. Do I turn it down low again? Oh my god. I did it. Good job. Ready to try something harder? That was pretty hard. <laughs> Utapam. The dosa will be a bit thicker this time so we can lay all the vegetables. Like the pizza one, right? With all the toppings. Yes. Not really, though. <laughs> okay. So how do we do it differently? I don't see oil around the edges this time. Do we add a second layer? Now the toppings. Add all of them. Just add whatever you like. Everyone's uttapam is different. Just make sure to add G first. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce half of these things. Uh, powder, chilies, carrots. Ooh, carrots. Powder. I guess some chilies. I wouldn't like chilies. Let's just add everything. Okay, the edges are brown. Are we doing it right? Anything else? I think I'm getting the hang of this. I told you it's easy. Oh, I wonder what that tastes like. It looks like um, like a hearty crepe or something. I haven't made this in a while. This was your appa's favorite. Kari dosa is dosa with minced meat. Ooh. We're doing it with mutton here, but you can do it with chicken, beef, or whatever you like. Oh. That's so fun. It's almost like a pizza party. Otapam party. Otap party. <laughs> Good job, Kevin. Now we can start adding the toppings. You want to add the G first. Then add the beaten egg as a coating, followed by the actual kari and finish it with coriander. Okay. G, eggs, kari, coriander. G, Eggs. Curry. Coriander. Up. And go! I think that did it. Another one down! This is fun! It really is. many things I want to try out now. You're doing great, Kevin. You can start your own dosa restaurant when you go back. I know, right? I could probably run the best one. There are restaurants that can serve dosas like this back there. You wouldn't have missed home so much and left, huh? I came here for more than just dosas. Oh yeah, of course. I was just joking. Oh. 
Okay, well, you start eating these. I'll make the rest and then join you. Oh, no, no, I'll do it. Otherwise, they'll get cold before you can eat them. Well, won't they get cold for you then? Let me do it this time at least. Sure. And now he's cooking for her! It's so sweet! Oh, that looks amazing. So cute. I have something to show you. <gasps> the recipe book. Amma's recipe book. Have you been using it? I didn't fix some of these. You fixed those too? And you wrote in Tamil? <gasps> this is great! Is this all research for that show you're writing? No, Amma. Actually, I quit that job. <gasps> Why? I... I couldn't write what they wanted. I can't just write about dosa, series, and musicals. Our lives are more messy than that. And sometimes it is messy. Sometimes it has people like me. I've acted like being Tamil was inconvenient for me my whole life. I actually need to look up because I don't know where that is. A member of the people inhabiting parts of southern India and Sri Lanka. Tamil is a Dravidian language spoken by Tamils in southern India, Sri Lanka, and elsewhere. The language is more than 2,000 years old. It's so pretty. But now I'm acting Tamil when it is convenient for me. When there's a job on the line, I couldn't deal with it. That's very true. I had no idea you felt this way. It's true, Amma. I'm just a tourist, and I wasn't there for you after Appa. And every time I wanted to apologize, I just felt too guilty to even face you. You've always said you stayed in Canada for me. I know how much it must have hurt you to come back here. How much I must have hurt you, and Appa. It was so sudden. I always thought there would be time to tell him how much he aspires me. Even the stories he made up when I was a child and read them to me until I finally slept. My writing can't hold a candle to that. If I'm writing today, it's because of him. I'm still just trying to catch up to him. Yee. Put it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. That's so sweet. That's not why I came here, Kevin. You didn't? I came here because that's what, what's best for me, and even though it hurt me, it's what's best for you. What do you mean? I loved living here. The people, my parents, my job, everything. Leaving India was necessary, but really hard. I felt bad for leaving, and I missed it so much that I wanted to raise you like we never left here. It must have been suffocating for you, and after Pavalam. Well, coming back here and teaching all these kids has been great. If I had stayed here, I don't think I could have given you the space you needed. Thanks, Amma. How long are you staying for? I don't know. But this is nice. He's reconnecting. What about you? Do you think you'll ever come back to Canada? I don't know. <laughs> She's like, no, I hated it there. <laughs> but this is really nice. The mask is so cool. No, oh, God, what a beautiful story. It almost brought me to tears at the end there where they reconnected. It was so nice. I also feel like I learned a lot. <laughs> it's such a nice story. It's a constant struggle, right? For like going to a different country and then it's like how much especially if your child grows up in that other country it's like how much of your culture do you try and teach him and what's like a good balance between the new culture that he grows up they grow up in what's a good balance between the new culture and the old culture and is the child even interested in the old cu old culture because a lot of times kids just want to fit in in their new environment and their new the new environment is their normal environment. God, that was so such a good story and so nice and it also made me really hungry for those beautiful I could even like 
How did they do that? They made it look so delicious. The colors, everything, the cooking sounds. God, really, really, really nice. That was such a nice experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. The game is available on Steam if you want to play it for yourself, make some meals, um, just have a cozy time. I think it's out on uh, Switch as well. Let me see. Switch, PlayStation, Xbox, uh, PC. So it's everywhere. It's available everywhere if you want to play it or if you know a friend who would like to play something like this. It's very nice and chill to play for a little bit. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you guys soon with something else. Thanks for watching.